All right, in this part of our tutorial, we are going to um, add some changes to this point game object. Uh, we basically need to do two things. The first is to scale it down. I have already done it. It's for my case 0 0.03 in X, Y, and Z axis. Um, because this object is going to act as a simple dot into our ground, we want it to be really, really sim simple and small. And the next thing I want to do is make this uh, point light independent, right? So no matter where the directional light is, it's always going to be the fixed color. There should not be any shadow information. To do that, we are going to create a new material and um, let's create a new material. I'm going to name it point mat. And then in here, we are going to change the shader from standard to unlit so unlit means there should not be any sort of you know um, light information right and you can actually do unlit transparent as well mm, up to you uh, for my case i am just going to do mobile version that is going to be a little bit optimized all right uh, so yeah we can now go to the point game object and drag and drop this material into the material field of the mesh renderer all right later on we are going to see some other material uh, if you guys want to you can change the color on that case but for the unlit uh, shader you cannot change the color of this object so it's going to be white so if you don't want to you know bother with this part then skip this that's all all good so yeah um that's all about this quick tutorial i just wanted to show you how can how you can create a material and you can apply that to your uh, point game object i'll see you in the next tutorial where we are going to actually do some sort of uh, like distance calculation using a script see you then